Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are going to discuss today examination for signs of major irritations. Signs of major irritation are very important, especially when you are suspicious you have suspicion about possibility of meningitis. What are the signs that make you suspect that this child have men has meningitis? First, fever, headache, vomiting, disturbed level of consciousness. So any child presented with fever, headache, photophobia, or disturbed level of consciousness, you should examine for feature of meningeal sign. Feature of meningeal sign, the first sign is examination for neck stiffness, or what we call it metal rigidity. First, if there is pillow under the head of the child, you should remove the pillow. Then you will examine. You will examine for neck stiffness. There is no neck stiffness here. So, this is examination for neck stiffness. The second sign is the Kernick sign. To start with the Kernick sign, first you should do flexion at the hip joint, then flexion at the knee joint, and you can explain to the child what you are going to do. Then we will start the examination by trying to straighten the leg, just like this. Okay, so first, flex the hip 90 degree, flexion of the knee 90 degree, then we are going to do extension for the leg or straightening the leg. If the sign is positive, you will feel that there is resistance in extending the, the leg and the child will feel pain in the hamstring muscle. So there will be pain and there will be restriction for the extension of the leg. This is positive Kernick sign if there is resistance and pain in the hamstring muscle or pain in the spine. This is the Kernick sign. The third sign is the Brodinski sign. Brodinski sign is done by flexing the neck. You can put your hand on the chest to prevent the child from rising his body and do flexion of the neck. The positive sign will, will be flexion of the knee and flexion of the hip, or what we call it withdrawal of the leg. Just like this, the child will withdraw his legs and hip. This is Brodinski sign. These three signs are very important if you suspect that the child has meningitis. But remember, these signs are not always present. For example, in child or toddler less than 18 months, this sign may be not so obvious. In any child who received antibiotic previously, uh, this sign may disappear. So, this sign can suggest meningitis, but it will, not, it will not confirm. You should do lumbar puncture if you suspect uh, meningitis. But first, in such child, before doing lumbar puncture, you should do fundoscopic examination to exclude the presence or absence of papilledema. Thank you.